Hey guys, Paul here. I'm going to do a really quick demo on how to uh, access a remote computer using TeamViewer. Um, so this may be for people who've got something wrong with the computer and somebody else has offered to um, dive in and have a look. So you might be looking at this video, how do I set up TeamViewer so somebody else can access my computer and fix it for me. Or so you can fix it for somebody else or you can remote work from somewhere um, or basically access another computer. So really quick demo. First thing you're going to do is go to teamviewer.com, download TeamViewer. It'll download pretty quick, it's not a big file. And then you're going to, I'm on a Mac so it's slightly different and I will tell you the difference uh, as you install it. So install TeamViewer. On a Mac you just double click it and go through setup. Um, same for the Windows version. What you will have on Windows though, it doesn't ask on Mac. It will um, it will ask you if you're using it for professional or uh, or personal use. Make sure if it's personal use you connect as personal use. If you put professional when you log in and you haven't got a license it will only let you on for five minutes. So make sure you have highlighted personal use only. It's the middle option I believe. On a PC, it doesn't ask on a Mac. Um, set up a password for um, access uh, that you'll remember. So put a password in. This is for um, being able to access your computer all the time. Um, it is a little bit different from somebody else accessing it. So just put a password in, you'll remember. And finish. When you close the Mac, it says, do you want to move the um, install files to the trash? You might as well put yes. And then you've got Team Viewer open in the bottom, right? So now you've got a computer ID and a password. You're going to sign up. So I'm going to put, I'm going to do TV at paulnicholson.com. Uh, Paul Nicholson. Password again, something obviously you'll remember. Subscribe for a newsletter. I mean, that's up to you, but I don't. Uh, I, I did a bit too quick, didn't I? Sign up. And continue. So you're going to get an email. Have I got my email open? Yes. 20 new features, blah, blah, blah. And you're going to get to this point where you have your own screen. You uh, can log in now. You can, what you can do is you can add computers here. Or you can just do add a computer when you log in, right? So this is the information you're going to give to somebody else. So, you, so if someone's trying to fix your computer for you and they're asking for a team viewer ID and password, this is the information they're asking for. So you're going to send them that to that to them, right? You don't need to log in, but I'll log in and show you. I have got another computer waiting to connect to. So I'm going to sign in. I've got no computers, right? So like I say, you've given this code and password to somebody else. So I'm going to add a remote computer. It's actually the computer in my house downstairs. So this is the info for it. So Team Viewer ID is that top number, 69906090907. Password, I've just got the email from Team Viewer, 329 home PC you can put a description if you want and just click OK and now you get a little icon saying home computer home PC right you've got a team viewer email that you need to click on just to confirm your email address and also now in there I've got home PC which I can connect to from here or directly from just double clicking just double click so and say do you want to open a team viewer app yes and then it opens it straight away from there or you can go here and you simply double click and it opens and now you've got access to another computer so I can uh, browse I can use that computer downstairs as if I'm sit sitting at it uh, and do absolutely anything that I um, that I want to do you know it, you know it's as if I'm already down there I can go browse the internet on a different computer I'm already on Google yeah it's just as if you're at that computer and then somebody can jump on your computer 
And usually somebody, you, you might need a little program setting up for somebody and they might say, well, give me access to your team to your team viewer account and I can jump in and, um, and change some settings. You know, it is literally as if you sat using that computer. Um, what else can I do? You can transfer files from one computer to another. Um, and that's pretty much all you have to do. So basically that, that information was was this. So all, all the other person at the other end is gonna ask is for you to give them the user ID and the password. And then all they do is, like I say, they go to underneath your name, it'll say add remote computer. And you just put that information in that in that box. Oh, in that box. And you can access that computer. It's dead easy to use, free to use for personal use. So if you're doing it for you know to help friends and family out and not doing it as a as a business, then the personal free license um, is is free to use. Uh, make sure you tick. Make sure you use, you put that you're using it for non-commercial, and you'll get unlimited time. Or well, not unlimited. I'm not. It's about a couple of hours, I think, um, before it kicks you off and you have to reconnect. But I think that's a really easy tool to use. I get a lot of people asking what to do and how to do it. So this is a this is a video for them so that they can see all they need to do is give me their user ID, your the computer ID and the password and I can jump in and help them out. So I hope that helps. Hope it was a quick demo that, that gets you moving and you know if family members are, are wanting you to set up a team viewer so they can help you out IT wise. Uh, I hope this helps you as well. Any questions leave a comment Leave a like or a dislike, uh, just give me a reaction somewhere, uh, and I'll see you all again soon. Thanks for watching.